Hello, good evening, and welcome to Van Wert, where tonight on WOSN will bring you a non-conference matchup between the visiting Kaleida Wildcats and the homestanding Van Wert Cougars. I'm Garrett Seawright, joined alongside Darren Gilbert, and we'll bring you all the action tonight here from Van Wert. And when you take a look at this matchup tonight, uh, we got a lot, a lot of seniors in the starting lineup. I think everybody in the starting lineup tonight is a senior, so we, we've got some experienced ballplayers on the floor tonight. Both basketball teams are very well coached. My area of concern, you got one team tonight that's played six games yeah. in Kaleida, and you got Van Wert last night who won their first opening game of the season. My concern is, are they going to have the legs necessary tonight to compete you know, with Kaleida? Because they're going to have to control the tempo of this contest, Garrett, because we know what Kaleida brings, and they lost a game in overtime, and one, they or, they lost to Delta St. John's, and they also lost to Arlington. I think you told me that yeah, was overtime. Arlington. Yeah, overtime, yep. So, you know, they're coming in on a roll at four and two, but, you know, if you're Van Wert and the coaching staff, you gotta be pleased with the effort they gave last night to open the season up with only, what, two weeks of practice at yeah. the most? Yeah, not even, not even a full two weeks of practice there, uh, uh, but they did, uh, they took down Salina last night pretty handily. And on the flip side, though, of not having a whole lot of action underneath your belt, it, is that, could that, if you look at it the right way, be a, be a benefit to Van Wert that Kaleida doesn't maybe know Van Wert all oh, that much because they only played last night. That's a great point. You know, it comes down to scouting and coaches love to scout and break tape down. You know, so Kaleida's probably banking on stuff that they've seen during the summertime, summer mm -hmm. leagues. But uh, you got to believe each team is familiar with one another and it's going to be, you know, a, an opportunity for Van Wert to feel themselves through to get that bench personnel because you know as well as I do, it's hard to compete with five players. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You've got to have some depth. And this is a nice non-conference matchup. It's a short drive for Kaleida down through 24 to get here to Van Wert. Got a good crowd on hand here for this non-conference. Saturday afternoon affair between the Kaleida Wildcats and the Van Wert Cougars. Jaden Smith and Aiden Pratt are in the center circle ready to tip off. And the tip is won by the Kaleida Wildcats as their starting five looks like this. Evan Steck, Schulte, Drew First, E.J. Miller, Jaden Smith, and Ethan Warnicke. And the ball stolen away by Van Wert's Luke Wessel. And their starting five is Carson Smith, Garrett Gunner, Aiden Pratt, Nate Phillips, and the aforementioned Wessel. So, uh, Wessel, you know, I watched him so many times on the football field. The thing's not oblong, and he still found a way to get his hands <laughs> on that basketball 10 seconds into the game. Kaleida works the basketball around the perimeter as Ethan Warnicke holds it. He'll throw it Smith at the top of the key. Wildcats patient with the basketball. Steck Schulte between the circles. Surveys that Van Wert D. Gives to Fersh. Miller in the short corner. Back to the basket. Warnicke double teamed on the right block. Leans. Can't get it to go and the rebound comes down to Nate Phillips. Really good job by Smith walling up there in the post, making it difficult for Kaleida to get that field goal attempt up. Garrett Gunner will direct the offense for Van Wert between the circles. As we approach one minute gone here in this opening quarter, still scoreless on the Charles River scoreboard. That's the three from Carson Smith, long. He gets the steal back the other way, three on three. Loose basketball almost stolen away by Kaleida. As Gunner will hold it for a moment. Crosses over to the left elbow, hands off to Smith. Smith turns in the high post and kicks back out to Phillips, and Van Wert will reset. Really good job by Kaleida setting down, taking away the dribble drive while maintaining help side position on the floor. Phillips straight away to Smith, and he has the first basket of the night for either side. Great screen there by Wessel to free him up. Long outlet pass blocked by Aiden Pratt, but it lands right into the hands of Evan Steck Schulte and he gets Kaleida on the board. Wow, what a block. Pratt chased that one down, got up. Pinned it. Gunner pump fakes on the near corner three. Instead, Phillips gets the basketball at the free throw line, spins at the high post, gives back to Pratt on the right wing. And we're resets once again. Phillips with the basketball. Gives to Wessel in the high post to Gunner in the near corner. Slips the screen from Wessel, drives baseline. Bounce pass to Phillips, corner three. Nate Phillips has a three of his own. Credit Gunner with a, a really nice job dribbling the baseline. 
Wildcats back quickly in transition. Can't get the layup to go from Steck Schulte. And Van Wert will race back the other way. Cougars lay it off the window. Smith and the foul. So five early points for Carson Smith. And he'll step to the free throw line to try to convert the old-fashioned three-point play. He didn't hesitate, did he? He ripped that no. thing baseline, and he was going to go to the rack. Heckler High Water was either going to be a charge or an one. Like you said, he's going to get the and one. And you see the, the the patience that Van Wert has shown offensively that time. They knew wisely, hey, we've got numbers. We've got the ability to get to the hoop and move quickly here and did. I think Steck, Coach Steck showed he's got his kids with the idea and the mindset tonight, let's make this a full court game, both offensively and defensively. Free throw hits every bit of the rim and drops home for Smith. So he's got six points as the Cougars lead nine to two on the Charles River scoreboard. Ball's loose at midcourt. Once again, Phillips picks up the loose ball. Smith, bounce pass to Phillips. Wessel, pump fakes, drives. Off the window at the left hand. That's a good power finish right there by Wessel with the left hand. This 1-2-2 two, two right now is slowing Kaleida down a little bit. And Kaleida, Ryan Sexual, as well as, hey, we want to apply pressure at both ends of the floor. We want to move pretty quickly on the offensive end, and we want to put Van Wert in some tough spots, and it's been the opposite so far for the Wildcats as they've got the basketball really for the first time in an offensive set in a long time as Jaden Smith will drive to the short corner on the near side. And he gives Brady Furch in the ball game for the first time. E.J. Miller for three off the front iron. Offensive rebound grab by Warnicky. Warnicky puts it off the glass, can't get it to go. Gets another offensive rebound, pumps in the lane. First no, Drew first the rebound. And Kaleida gonna reset with E.J. Miller on the right wing. Got a lit on the hoop right now for the visitors, but boy, they're giving relentless effort on the offensive glass. Jaden Smith to Drew Fersh in the lane, rises, fires, no. And the rebound comes down to Carson Smith. Halfway gone in this first quarter, 11-2. Van Wert with the advantage over Kaleida. Cougars looking to extend a run. Pratt with his back to the basket, turns. Lays it off the window, and Aiden Pratt has his first basket of the night. And a timeout called by Ryan Stank Schulte of Collider. We'll step aside as well. 13-2 Cougars lead here on WOSN. Our scoreboard tonight presented by Charles River and Spencerville, the premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio is hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. Charles River scoreboard says 13-2. Van Wert out to a quick big lead here over the Kaleida Wildcats. And their head coach, Ben Lodick, told us that they wanted to have high quality possessions tonight. I think it's a mission accomplished here in the first half of the first quarter. Definitely tempo control, and they're not afraid to take the ball to the basket. And I think they just want to play physical and try to play the game inside and out. And right now, that's the reason why Coach Steckshield had to burn that time out. So the Wildcats struggling with the trap from Van Wert here in the early going and get the ball across the timeline and get into their offense. Jaden Smith in the lane. Quickly lays it off the glass, can't get it to go, but his own putback is up and good. Good job following his shot right there. Did a good job spinning and locking, just couldn't finish, but stuck with it and got the, got the bucket for the Wildcats. Much needed bucket. Now Kaleida wants the trap. Van Wert handles it, gets it to Pratt. Pratt puts up a powerful shot, can't get it to go. Rebound comes down to Kaleida. Brady Fersh. Brings it up the floor and hands off the warm Steck Schulte, excuse me. He'll fire up a three. Too strong. Ball's loose and lands in the hands of Gunner. Gunner dribbles to the right wing. Hands off to Carson Smith. Back to Gunner in that far corner. Surveys the collider defense and will put it on the deck. Stripped momentarily. Double teamed after A.J. Profit in the ball game. Picked up the loose basketball and Van Wert again. Quite content to take their time. Gunner avoids the screen from Pratt, dribbles it out of bounds off his knee. And that's really one of the first turnovers we've seen from Van Wert tonight. Yeah, he had the right idea. He was going to reject the screen and take it to the baseline like he did early in the game. And like you said, dribbled it off his foot out of bounds. Unfortunate turnover there by Van Wert. 
So 2.29 to go here in this first quarter. Kaleida looking to chip away at that 13-4 lead for the Cougars. As Drew Fersh walks it up the floor and throws right to E.J. Miller. Ethan Warnicke, the 6'2 senior with the basketball, and gives to Jacob Siebenek. It's Dex Schulte. Pass deflected for just a brief moment. Lanes back in the hands of the Wildcat. Kaleida taking their time. Fersh gives to Siebenek. He's isolated on the near corner, near side of the floor, I should say. It's Fersh. Finds Siebenek back to Fersh. Under two minutes to go in this opening quarter. Drew Fersh time to rise and fire for three and knocks it home. Good patience by the Wildcats there, moving the ball side to side, making Van work. You know, give a little bit of effort defensively there with their legs. Big bucket. 13-7. Cougars with the lead in the basketball. As Wessel drives. And it hangs on the rim and drops home. And Luke Wessel has four first quarter points. Good take by that young man right to the rim. Oh Wide back the other way. Steck Schulte. Wise pass from Jacob Siebenick. Thought about going up and under with that shot. Probably would have got blocked. Instead passes out of it. And the Wildcats will hold. We approach one minute to go on the Charles River scoreboard. First bounce pass. Warnicke turns and faces. And now we'll back it back out. Wildcats, another patient offensive possession. As Siebenek will drive in the high post, gives back to Drew Fersh with 40 seconds on the clock. He'll drive the left rail, and a foul committed by Van Wert. Their that first. Was Phillips' partner, I think he got him on the reach on the triple drive. Been a relatively clean first quarter here. It's the first foul against Van Wert, and you're right, it is against Nate Phillips, but just one foul for each side here in this opening quarter. So Kalina inbounds underneath their own basket. 38 seconds to go in his first quarter. A lob to Jaden Smith at the high left point. This cross court pass to Siebenick. Bounces to Steck Schulte. Finds Smith. Great effort there by Jaden Smith. Got in a tough spot. Found it off the glass anyway. And he's got four points. Yeah, good job moving without the ball. Found a little seam underneath the rim and cut to the ball. Good pass, good finish. Van Wert with the basketball under 20 seconds to go in the quarter. Profit in the near corner. Gives to Gunner, and he'll walk it towards the middle of the floor with 10 seconds to go on the clock. Gunner throws right to Phillips on the right wing, gives right back to Gunner. With five seconds, bounces back to Pratt. Pratt leans, can't hit, got his own tip, didn't go, and we played one quarter of basketball. 15 to 9 on the Charles River scoreboard, and Word leads back for second quarter action coming up here on WOSN. Second quarter about to get underway between Van Wert and Kaleida. The Cougars with a six-point advantage on the Charles River scoreboard as Kaleida kind of battled back there and got reassessed things there in the first quarter as a three from Carson Smith drops home. He's got nine first half points, but uh, Kaleida really rallied there at the back half of that, that first quarter. Yeah, it was seven to two. They closed a quarter on after being down by 11 early. Big shot right there by Smith. I think that's his second trifecta. Yes, sir. Jaden Smith drives baseline. It's stolen away at the last moment. As Profit will run the floor, throws to Phillips. Cougars moving quickly as Phillips was one on four, and they'll wisely reset. Profit will fire up a nearly contested three, too strong. Rebound comes out to Furch. Mordecai dribbles to the right wing and gives to Jaden Smith at the top of the key. Smith, the 6'3 senior, with four points. Drives in the short corner, thought about the jump shot instead, will give back off to Fersh. Ryan Steck Schulte yelling out, move to his offense. So Wildcats will bounce to first in a short quarter on the far side. Cross court pass to Steck Schulte. He'll jump stop in the lane, throws it off the window at home. And Steck Schulte's got four. Heck of a move right there, wasn't it? Yes, it, yes it was. A little jump, hop on a jump stop right there, about the six footer and banged it off the glass. Now the, the home faithful might have thought that, that was a uh, uh, travel as Smith called for the foul. 
but it's a nice move by Steck Schulte to get a little free jump stop and throw one up as Caden Schaefer and Aiden Pratt check in the ball game for the Cougars as Garrett Gunner and A.J. Profit will take a seat. You know, the one who used to drive me nuts was a Euro step. Euros. I've, I've said before, a Euro step, or as you know, the old basketball fan will tell you, a travel. But it's turned into a nice little move for, yes, it is. for, for those who can use it. As the Cougars work with the basketball. Leads to a wide open three from Wessel. Can't get it to go. Rebound comes down to Kaleida. Good job on the box out by Fersh. Wildcats looking to chip into the seven point advantage for the Cougars. As Jaden Smith has it on the left wing, working against Schaefer. Cross court pass to Fersh. Warnicky thought about putting up the three. Good close out by Pratt. Nice ball movement and nice action there by the Wildcats to get Ethan Warnicky his first basket of the night. And they have trimmed that lead. Nice little slip action there by the Wildcats for the deuce. Nate Phillips now pressured as he brings it across the timeline. He'll get it to Carson Smith into the high post to Schaefer. Three ball for the Cougars. High rebound comes down to Phillips. He's swatted from behind. And they step on the end line as Nate Phillips got the basketball after the block, but he was had his heels on the black line, and that's a turnover by the Cougars. Yeah, Wessel did a great job going to the offensive uh, last to get that Karen, but got it blocked, like you said, and I think Phillips was standing out of bounds and touched the basketball. So that's uh, one of the good defensive possessions there that Kaleida talked about. You know, that basically they came in and said, hey, we, we feel like we're going to have to contain Aiden Pratt and they've done a pretty good job of that so far and also said they needed to rebound the basketball as a team and they've done that on the offensive end but you see the errant shot there from Steck Schulte come down to the hands of a Cougar. Schaefer quickly in transition off the front iron and rebound pulled down by E.J. Miller of Kaleida. He'll race up the floor. He takes to the free throw line and gives to Warnicky. He'll try to bounce, get the entry to first and it's kicked away. And the Cougars have a steal. Ball's loose once again. Gunner will scoop it up. Finds Pratt in the lane. Easy basket for Aiden Pratt. Good job using his big body right there in frame and protecting himself, putting that basketball between the backboard and himself so the defender couldn't get to it. Lead back out to seven for the Cougars as Warnicky has it in post. Back to the basket. He gives back to Smith. He eyed that rim for just a moment. Now we'll try to drive baseline. Creates a little contact. Hangs, can't hit. But Jaden Smith will step to the free throw line. That Smith, I believe, got him across the arm. Carson Smith picks up his first. Two fouls apiece for both squads as Jaden Smith, the six foot three senior, steps to the charity strike. First free throw is up and good, giving him five points on the evening. As Wildcats will make a couple of changes as Sibonek will check back in the ball game. There's Warnicky and Steck Schulte step out. Brady first back in the lineup for Kaleida as well, a six foot two junior forward. Smith hits them both. He's got six. So 2015, the score. Halfway through the second quarter on the Charles River scoreboard, stolen away by the Wildcats. Lob up ahead to Siebenick. And he hangs and hits him just like that. The lead's down to three. A little half-court trap. Kaleida went to right there first and forced the turnover, excuse me, and got an easy basket as a result. Wildcats turn up the pressure defensively once again as Gunner has it stripped. It's two on one back the other way. Drew Fersh, blocker charge. What's it going to be? It's a block. And Drew Fersh will go to the free throw line. It's always one of those tough calls that you never, you're never quite sure. <laughs> the time you think that's a sure block, it could be called a charge. The time you think it's definitely a charge, it's a block. That's and that, that one old, goes against the Cougars. That's that old 50-50 call right there, huh? First free throw from first. No good, a 5'11 senior for the 4-2 Wildcats. Averaging 55 points a game on the scoreboard. And really, they've been playing much better as of late on the defensive end. Giving up 35 points a game as first hits the 
second free throw attempt. Giving up 35 points a game during their three-game winning streak. They were giving up 57 in the first three games of the year. So they have found something defensively, and you've seen it here in the second quarter. Oh, boy, we got an ankle time. Aiden Pratt hits the three as we've got the injured Wildcat on the floor. Not sure who the injured Wildcat is. We'll step aside here during the stoppage in play. 3.25 to go. 23-18 Van Wert leads on WOSN. Our scoreboard tonight presented by Charles River in Spencerville, the premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio, is hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. Drew first, the injured Wildcat, as he's helped to the bench, has uh, got injured as he tried to contest the pass there that led to the open three from Aiden Pratt that he knocked down. And we'll see if Drew first is able to come back in this ball game. He's a, a key piece to this collide of offense and defense. Hopefully it's just a tape job and coming back into play. Brady first in the near corner gives to Evan Steck Schulte. They'll give to Smith at the top of the key. Surveys that defense, throws right to Steck Schulte. Gets a wide open three from E.J. Miller and he knocks it home for his first basket of the evening. Great execution by the visitors right there. Got a little back screen action with a pop and hit the three from the top of the key. Lead down to two for the Cougars. As he'll put up a three, Wessel off the back iron. Goes out of bounds off the Cougars and it will go to Collide with the opportunity to take the lead here. As, um, worst case scenario is maybe the first half of that first quarter went to be you know within two here in the second quarter. It's a, that's a fantastic job by the Wildcats. Yeah, they, they, they were gritty, you know, and they just took their time and was patient. Wildcats try to bounce it down to Brady first. Kicked ball violation committed by Van Wert, so it will stay with the Wildcats. Four and two on the season. Jane Smith looks to throw it in. Still looking. Gets to Steck Schulte. Two and a half to go on the Charles River scoreboard here in this first half. Siebenick. Top of the key. Back to the basket. Has to get rid of it after the pressure from Van Wert. Steck Schulte working against Pratt. Jabs and will walk it back out. Bounces to Smith. Kaleida, patient as Smith tried to spin on that baseline drive. Gives to Steck Schulte, high shot, didn't hit any glass, got his own rebound though. Another offensive rebound by Brady First, throws it out of bounds off of Aiden Pratt and it will stay with Kaleida. Heads up play there by First. Yeah, it's gotta be a concern. You know, we just heard the coach yell, box out. I mean, they've, they've been hurt on the offensive glass by yeah. Kaleida. That they have. And Kaleida said, hey, we, we got a rebound as a team. We don't have maybe the, the size and athleticism that Van Wert does. And they've done a pretty good job of that here in this first half with 1.45 to go. An opportunity to tie, and they do. Jacob Siebenick gets his fourth point of the night. And we are tied at 23. Cougars a little discombobulated on the offensive end here in the late stages of this second quarter as Phillips drives past the defender, tries to get it to Pratt, and a kickball violation committed by Kaleida. Right idea there, dribble driving, getting into the lane, tried to get that bounce pass down inside to Pratt. Kaleida got a leg on it to get the kick call. So Phillips will inbound. Looking, bounces, easy bucket underneath for Luke Wessel. And he's got six first half points. Good job cross screening and pinning under the bucket. His defender got him the basketball and he finished it. So the lead comes back to Van Wert. And it is now tied up once again as a great cut there from Jaden Smith. He leads all scorers, or excuse me, leads the Wildcats with eight points here in this first half. But uh, a nice action there by Kaleida to get Smith the basketball in a hoop. Cougars lob to Wessel, back to the basket. Cross-court pass to Smith. He'll put it on the deck. Blocked from behind, but he's fouled. Nice luxury to have. You have a kid that can shoot to three and also put it on the deck and take it to the rim. 
Well, and really, they, they've, they've shot the three. But other than that, they've gotten to the hoop. They have made a concerted effort that we are going to get the ball down low, and, and you saw it right there. And it's not a flip shot. I mean, it's a two-foot jump stop yeah. power layup. Smith's free throw attempt off the mark. Carson Smith, a six-foot-three senior. Second game of the year for the Van Burke Cougars after their sustained football success. Saw them fall in the regional finals to the eventual state champion Cleveland Glenville, Division IV. Got that free throw to go. Carson Smith with 10 points to lead all scorers tonight. Under a minute to go in this first half. 26-25, Cougars with the lead. The light of the basketball. Stack Schulte lost the handle on it. And Van Wert will wisely pull up with 30 seconds on the clock. Smith wanted that three after he got the pass from Nate Phillips, but knew better of it. And Van Wert will attempt to hold for the final shot. And that possession didn't make Coach Steck Schulte very happy. Pratt got a deflection, which led to that turnover. He was playing for one shot. Nate Phillips, tightly guarded, tries to get the backdoor pass. It goes out of bounds off of Van Wert. And the Wildcats and Cougars trade turnovers in the final minute of the quarter. I think you're right. They, they were they were they were holding for the last. Kaleida was content to we'll run the final 40 seconds off the clock. Makes we'll that turnover a little less, doesn't it? Yes, it for, does. For Kaleida. Wildcats with five seconds in the far corner. Three for the lead. No. And the ball bounces out of play. And that will do it for the first half of play. Van Wert led by six after one. They lead by one after two. Cougars lead 26-25 on the Charles River scoreboard. We'll step aside, come back with second or third quarter action. Coming up, you're on WOSN. Second half about to get underway. Our scoreboard presented by Charles River and Spencerville, the premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio is hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. 26-25 on the Charles River scoreboard as the second half begins. If Van Wert had a six-point lead after one and a one-point lead after two as the Wildcats ball bounces their way and they've got their first lead of the night is Ethan Warnicke. Gets that's the bucket. A, that's that 50-50 loose ball that the coaches talk about. That's one of the goals each night right there, that burn Van Wert. Cougars lose the handle on it as Luke Wessel, pressured by Jaden Smith. He steals the basketball away and picks it up. Now double teamed in a bad spot. He's able to pass out of it to Evan Steck Schulte. Steck Schulte drives the lane. He lost the handle. It goes out of bounds, and it will stay with the Wildcats. Good to see Mr. First back on the floor for Kaleida. Absolutely. I'm just trying to see, you know, how gingerly he is on it. He seems to be moving pretty well, so that's a good sign. Nice slip. He gets the inbound pass to Warnicky and Warnicky back-to-back -back buckets. Extends the lead for Kaleida. If I'm a betting man 10 games in, you won't see Van Wert give that up again because that's just lack of communication, and that comes with experience and more practice time. Carson Smith, three off the mark. And I was going to ask you there in that first half, if you saw anything that made you think, hey, you know, this might be Van Wert losing their legs a little bit, just it's, you know, you're not in basketball shape. It's the back back to back where you're playing less than 24 hours after you, you finished last night. As the Cougars can't get the bucket, the ball in the bucket. Ball tipped around and now comes back the other way for Kaleida as Warnicke on the left wing. Bounce pass to Smith. Gene Smith, leaner and a foul. Trying to see who they got right there. Did they get number five or 10? Number 10, Garrett Gunner on the foul. Okay. So Smith now has 10 points. First foul committed by Gunner. You know, you, you asked an interesting question. When, when you start grabbing the the anchor, or excuse me, the knees, or putting your hands on your hips. That's that's typically a sign of fatigue. And like you said, let's see where this goes in the fourth quarter for the home team Cougars. 32-26, Kaleida starts with a 7-0 run in this third quarter. A minute and a half in. Phillips bounces to Gunner. Nearly had his pocket pick from behind. Cougars get it to Pratt on the left block. He wants the hoop and the foul, didn't get the hoop but he did get the foul and will step to the free throw line. And that's one here in three weeks time when he gets his basketball legs underneath him 
and gets in basketball right, shape, he's, he's going to get the end one. So the six foot four senior, first team All State quarterback for the football team, drops in the first free throw attempt. Well deserved honor for that young man. Absolutely, uh, Aiden Pratt is as fine a high school quarterback as you'll find, and not many, not many high school quarterbacks who are first team All State also are very good defensive ends either. Well, it was my pleasure, you know, to be able to cover those kids, you know, play in the run that they had, and they were so close. But they they represented West Western Ohio and the Western Buckeye League and this area, the city of Van Wert, proudly. That they did. Drew Fersh back in the ball game after that ankle injury in the first half. Dribbly below the knees and throws left to Warnicky. And we're playing a little zone now. Warnicky has it in the near corner. To stack Schulte and Kaleida content to take their time with a five point lead. Yeah, Van Ward decided to go to a flat 3 2 here. That's probably to save a little bit of legs and try to keep from pounding the basketball inside by the visitors. Kaleida content to just work the basketball around a little bit because they'll get it to Miller. He thought about the three, eyed it again. Instead, gets it to Warnicky, blocked from behind by Pratt, got his own offensive rebound. Pratt. Might have got a little contact on the forearm there. He actually blocked it a second time. Again, it comes down to communication right there between, you know, the Van Wert kids. That's one that they're going to secure here two, three weeks down the road. The more you get to practice time, but yeah, that's just a lack of communication. Pratt swats it out of bounds on the inbound attempt there from first. And um, Van Wert has certainly ratcheted up the defensive pressure here on this, uh, this trip down the floor. 5.20 to go on the Charles River scoreboard. Wildcats lead by five, looking to grow their advantage. Again, Van Wert drops back in that zone. Miller gives straight away to Steck Schulte. His pass nearly kicked away, still has it at the free throw line. Kaleida very patient with the basketball. Van Wert very successful right now in this flat 3-2, and the length of Pratt is causing some problems. He's got deflections, a kick ball. Yeah, his length and his athleticism. Can you imagine him gonna, when he gets in basketball shape? I was going to say the athleticism just as much as the size, where not many guys can move side to side or even get their leg up to get that kick ball like he just did at the top of that zone as the Wildcats will try it again to inbound at the high left point. That's Drew Fersh. Stands between the circles. On this full-length floor here at Van Wert. Lap back door lob looking for Smith. Couldn't get it. Ball lands in the hands of Carson Smith. So Kalina held the basketball for about a minute and a half. Didn't get anything out of it. As Pratt goes to the hoop, and he's called for the charge. Yeah, that's one. I, on the initial take, it looked like Garrett, he was going to pull up for the five-footer. And he's like, you know what? I'm going to take it to the hole. If you want to be man enough to stand in there, you're going to you know, pay for it. God bless you and, and give Kalida a lot of credit. He stepped in there and took the charge. So the Wildcats, after having a basketball for a minute and a half, get nothing to show for it. Van Wert has it for about 10 seconds. And doesn't get any points on the board. Pratt picked up the foul. As Kalida works it around the perimeter. Flashes Smith in the high post. Bounce it to him. Passes out of it. Miller in the near corner. Wildcats wide open. Brady first jump shot, no. Tipped back out to Van Wert's Garrett Gunner. Good execution right there by Kaleida. Just could not finish. Pratt will put up a corner three. A little short. Rebound, though, to Carson Smith. His offensive putback strong, up and good. He's got 12. And a timeout called by Van Wert will step aside as well. 3.52 to go in the third. Cougars trying to claw back into this one here on WOSN. Back here at Van Wert, Garrett Seawright and Darren Gilbert bringing you all the action here from this non-conference matchup between the 4-2 Colorado Wildcats and the 1-0 Van Wert Cougars. As the Wildcats have a 32-24 advantage, or 32-29 advantage, excuse me, over Van Wert. As the Wild, er, Cougars continue to employ this 3-2 zone. As the Wildcats get it to Brady Fersh, and he'll kick back out to E.J. Miller. 
you got to believe that timeout was more, not less for coaching-wise, but just to give the kids an opportunity to get a drink and catch their breath. Yeah, and Cougars not playing a whole lot of guys. There is the three from Stack Schulte off the mark. And you got just those five guys, for the most part, six. Van Wert has gone at times. But other than that, they've they played pretty much the same five guys as you get a corner three. It's off the mark there from A.J. Profit that as much as, you know, getting that, that drink and getting their legs back under him, it's back to back in the first weekend of the year for you. Aiden Pratt drives baseline, gets the hoop and the harm. Did you notice he did not go up on one leg on that finish? That was a jump stop and he just exploded and took the basketball through his face. Timeout called by Kaleida after the and one by Aiden Pratt. Looking for the perfect gift for an out-of-town sports fan? WOSN's broadcast channel can now be streamed anywhere in the world, online, Roku and Apple TV for a $100 annual donation. Give the gift of hometown sports for the holidays. Sign up at app.wosn.tv or by downloading the Roku or Apple TV apps. And anytime you can pull up the WOSN channel stream, it's a an opportunity to do that. You've got somebody, like we said, out of town. If you've got grandma and grandpa living in Florida or Arizona and want to watch Collider Van work, they're able to do that with a $100 donation. And it's a nice gift here as the holidays come up. And, and Gilly mentioned that, you know, Aiden Pratt, it, it's, it, you can tell even from the last possession where he got the charge, it's, he, he changed the way he approached the basket, uh, approached the defender. He got two points and could end up with three points out of it. Yes. You know, and I have so much respect for both of these coaches. I watched them during the timeouts, and they were instructing the kids. And, you know, Coach Steck Shorty was telling the kids, you know, you've got to quit giving up baseline dribble drives. And so that's going to be a point of emphasis, you know, for this remaining part of this game. 2.53 to go here in this third quarter. A foul committed by Gunner, his second. He'll step out for just a hot minute. Third foul committed by Van Wert here in the second half. Something we might need to watch as this lead stays relatively close. Hey, you got to believe that this 3-2 flat zone has presented some problems yeah. to collide, and it's definitely, you know, tempo control the game for Van Wert. And for the Cougars to just have Aiden Pratt there in the high post is a jump shot off the mark there from Stack Schulte. Aiden Pratt disrupting things in the high post and at the top of that key, it certainly changed the way Kaleidas approached this offensive. Ball stolen away as Pratt pressured and it will stay with Van Wert as Evan Stack Schulte, the 6'3 senior, the last to touch it for Kaleida. For Kaleida right there, you never want to draw a loose ball, you never want to dribble it. You want to pick it up and secure it. And I think that's what Coach Steck Schulte's talking about right now. They had the deflection. He could have just picked it up, but he tried to, to dribble it and dribble it off his foot out of bounds. Collider playing a little zone of their own. As Profit thought about the three. Yeah, and they got to keep an eye on him. You know, he's a kid that if he gets his feet set and gets into a rhythm, he can knock it down from 22, 23 feet. Carson Smith bounces to Nate Phillips. Wessel for three, and the lead. Van Wert gets back on top. Wessel, his third, or excuse me, his ninth point. He's hit two threes so far. Big shot for that southpaw. Smith on the baseline, stolen away by Nate Phillips. He'll lay it off the window, and just like that, Van Wert now has a four-point advantage. Well, he's just so quiet the way he plays, but he's exceptionally quick and does a nice job reacting to the basketball. First cross-court pass. Wildcats working to the left block. Phillips, the tip, lands at the hands of Collider, and an easy bucket on the other end for Mordecai. Pretty pass by Miller, finding the open teammate under the bucket for the deuce. One unit to go in this third quarter. It's 36-34. Cougars with the lead in the basketball. Profit will put up a contested three off the back iron. Pratt the offensive rebound. Pratt thought about the three after getting the pass back. Instead, with under 40 seconds to go, Cougars will work it around the perimeter. Get it to Pratt in the lane. Spins, hangs, hits. 
Didn't bring it down, did he? He got it to the face level and shot it through his face. Oh my goodness, got his elbows up and out. And just pushed the basketball up off the backboard for the end one, like you said. One of the things that Kalida told us coming in here tonight, they needed to contain Aiden Pratt. Did a really good job of that in the first half, but you've seen him here in this third quarter where he's really started to affect this basketball game on both ends of the floor. Can't hit the free throw, though. Rebound comes down to Jaden Smith at Kalida. 30 seconds to go in the quarter. Stack Schulte, teardrop floater in the lane. Good job using that head and shoulder fake, getting the defenders into the air and then finishing. 15 seconds remain. 38-36. Cougars with 10 seconds. Carson Smith. Gunner with five. Pratt, long three, left it short. And that'll do it for the third quarter. 38-36 on the Charles River scoreboard. Ian Work with the advantage. We'll come back with third, fourth quarter action in this non-conference matchup. Coming up. WOSN. Scoreboard tonight presented by Charles River in Spencerville, the premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio is hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com and apply today. Fourth quarter about to get underway. 38-36 the score. And work with the lead in the basketball to get this final stanza underway. As Gunner takes to the left wing. Gets straight away as Carson Smith for three, and he splashes it all. Oh. Great execution by the Cougars after the third quarter ending. Wide open three, knocked it down. Smith now with 15. Three threes, right? Yes, sir. To lead all scores. Jaden Smith has it at the right elbow. Leans, didn't hit. Jaden Smith will step to the free throw line after being a foul on the shot. Nice move there by Jaden Smith. Jump stop and taking the thing up strong. Wessel, his first foul. A lot of trails by five on the Charles River scoreboard. Rims out on Smith. She get the Second of a back-to-back -back in the afternoon where we've seen a couple of missed free throws here from, from both ends of the, or from both sides, I guess I should say, that you know, you've seen good attempts, they just haven't dropped through that cylinder. Well, we need to remember too, even games, six games in, they still played last night, so. Smith hits the second, he's got 12. And yeah, it's really kind of the tail of two ends of the spectrum there where Kaleida's six games in now. Seven games in as we're finishing up this one, and, and Van Wert is on the opposite end where this is just game number two where, you know, Kaleida can be tired and Van, Van Wert's tired for a whole different reason. Sure. Here. Kaleida tried to go to that half court trap right there and didn't get rotation. Coach Deckshold, he had it set up. Gunner lost the handle in the lane, foul committed by the Wildcats. Jaden Smith. His third, so Gunner steps to the line. Say he was shooting. I believe he was the second team all conference to the last year. And that's just his first point of the night. So Garrett Gunner gets the word on the board to extend the lead back out to five at 42-37. Talking about Mr. Pratt not being, you know, in basketball shape. You got to. There's other kids out there on the floor too. Yeah. Wessel and Smith and I'm sure I'm missing Gunter. Yeah, no. Phil, Gunter. Phil, yeah, Phillips football player as well. Phillips as too, but he he's, gets like he's in great shape, doesn't he? Now calling for the travel. Now Ben Waddick incensed from Van Wert that he's knocked over. And I think he was still kind of in the process of dribbling when he was coming to the floor. Might have a case there. Instead, it's a turnover, and the ball will be with Kaleida. You know, give the official a lot of credit. He talked to, to Coach Laudick and tried to explain his side of the story and didn't turn his back to him. And good job of officiating right there. 3-2 zone again from Van Wert. Maybe a bounce back and forth from a 3-2 to a 2-3. As Smith puts up a contested three, swirls around the front. Rebound comes down to Phillip. Nearly had his pocket picked. And 
Stack Schulte called for the foul, and he can't believe he heard the whistle. That's one of those you don't want to slap down on the basketball. You want to come from underneath. And he got caught slapping down into the cookie jar, so, so to speak. Fifth foul committed by Kaleida. As Gunner dribbles his way through the Kaleida defense in that far corner to Wessel. Pratt. Hands off to Gunner with 6.15 to go. Cougars looking to extend the lead. Pratt pump fakes in the lane. Throws up a shot, can't get it to go, and a rebound pulled down by E.J. Miller of Kaleida. Smith, one of the three from the right wing, instead puts it on the deck. Hands off to Miller, first straight away. Jaden Smith will put up the three, can't get it to go. Rebound pulled down by Carson Smith of Van Wert. Yeah, the zone has definitely, you know, played a huge part in slowing Kaleida's offense down here in yeah. the second half. It's a nice adjustment made by the Cougars as Phillips has the basketball. Gunner on the left wing. Gets to Smith. Thought about the three. Pratt will hold it. And Phillips from the right wing. Right back to Pratt, to Phillips. Running the old Van Ward shuffle cut. Ran it for years here. Gunner on the right wing with 515. Nate Phillips will pull it back out to the high left point. Van Wert will reset. Leading 42-37 on the Charles River scoreboard. Looking to put some more points on the board. Nearly poked through the backcourt. As Wessel tightly guarded by Stechschulte. And he'll bounce it away. Gunner dribbles out of it. Cross court pass to Smith. Phillips. Wessel, wide open for three, had all day, can't get it to go, but the rebound to Pratt. Back out to Carson Smith. Cougars, taking all day with the basketball. Big offensive rebound there by 6'4", senior. Wessel, bounces to Pratt, triple teamed on the baseline, back to Wessel, got bumped. Phillips will walk it back out. Van Wert going on more than a minute with the basketball. It's Pratt on the right wing. Pump thinks and gives to Wessel. Wessel back at the top of the key. He'll put up another three. No. And Carson Smith's going to be called for the foul. Good box out there by Steck Schulte. That's Smith's second, and you're right knowing hey, we cannot give up another offensive rebound here. He made sure to box out heartily in a full timeout called by the Cougars after that long offensive possession. We'll step aside as well. 4.02 to go here in tonight's ball game. Cougars lead on WOSN. Four oh two to go in tonight's ball game. Van Wert leading 42-37 over the Kaleida Wildcats. I'm Garrett Seabright, joined alongside Darren Gilbert. Final four minutes of tonight's ball game as the Wildcats look to put some more points on the scoreboard here and trim this lead a bit. Drew Fersh gives to Jaden Smith in the high post. Jump shot from Ethan Warnicky, short. And the Cougars dribbled it off their foot and out of play. Yeah, that's one that Van, Van Wert wants back because, you know, they had a break out there and he put the basketball on the floor and accidentally hit one of his teammates' feet and went out of bounds. First inbounds to Steck Schulte, double teamed in the post, fires up a shot and got it to go. Good finish by that young man, Strong. Need down to three. Steck Schulte now with eight. As Gunner gets it across the timeline to Aiden Pratt. He'll put it on the deck. Give to Wessel. Gunner at the high ride point. Main weren't content to watch the seconds tick off the clock as Gunner dribbles in the high post, hangs too strong. Rebound to Smith. EJ Miller. Steck Schulte spots up for three. No. Ball tipped out of bounds off of the fingertips of Jaden Smith and goes to Van Wert. Would have been a big offensive rebound there for the Wildcats. Instead, 
Van Wert holds on to the three-point lead. Gunner in the backcourt across the timeline, throws right. To Smith, bounces to Pratt straight away. 2.30 to go. Pratt holding the basketball, working on Warnicky. Puts it on the deck, gets to the hoop, and got it to go. Good first step to get to the rim and protected and shielded the basketball and finished. First, we'll give to Miller. It's now backed out to a five point lead. Van Wert. Stack Schulte bounces to Smith at the free throw line. Nice pass out of a tough spot for Smith. As Fersh fires to Miller, back to Steck Schulte. Pump fakes, will put up a shot. Too strong, it lands in the hands of Carson Smith. Good job by Wessel right there, changing the trajectory of that shot with his closeout and high hands. Now Kalina wants to turn on the pressure a little bit, trailing by five with just over 90 seconds to play. Well, now chase the basketball around. Collider still with two fouls to give until they get being word of the bonus. Both sides with five fouls. As Gunner dribbles out of the pressure, in the lane, fouled. And Garrett Gunner will shoot two. I think that's Smith right there, cracking him across the wrist. It is, and he gets his fourth foul. Something to be co cognizant of as Jaden Smith leads the Wildcats with 12 points. First free throw attempt from Gunner off the mark. Good job by Gunner getting to the rim. He's done that the last couple of possessions. Yep. And unfortunately, he hadn't, doesn't have anything to show for it, but he got to the charity stripe this last possession. Now the second to go. He's got two points on the evening, both coming from the free throw line. So Kalina now trailing by six, has to move quickly. Smith bounces to Fersh. Back to Smith. Miller with under a minute now to go in the fourth quarter. Smith contested three, can't get it to go. Pratt the board, and Van Wert on the run. Phillips stripped and a foul. Called against E.J. Miller. His second. And that's the seventh committed by Kalida, but Phillips fouled in the act of shooting, so he'll shoot two. Did we see a little bit of Kevin Love right there on that rebound and that <laughs> outlet, outlet pass? pass? That was a heck of an outlet pass. Phillips hits the free throw attempt. He's got six. Second, too strong. The so Wildcats move quickly. Smith fouled. Because really, it doesn't affect Van Wert really all that much. Gives them six fouls for the half. So the next one will put Kalina at the line. That's one of those you didn't get your feet established and got them with the. Quick attempt there by Smith on the inbounds. Didn't get it. And now the pass goes through his wickets and the ball's loose. And a timeout called by Kaleida quickly. We'll step aside as well. 32.3 to go in tonight's ball game here on WOSN. Out of the timeout, Kaleida trailing 46-39. Just over 30 seconds to go. Wildcats moving quickly. Jump shot from Miller for three is good. And just like that, Ryan Steck Schulte calls another timeout. EJ Miller, a pair of threes tonight to give him six points. And that's exactly what they needed out of that timeout and right out of the inbounds. Well, it was one of those where, I mean, it was he was got his feet set, got his hands in position, and I mean he caught it and went right up with a big shot right there for. The Wildcats, like you said, 
If you are looking for the perfect gift for an out-of-town sports fan, WOSN's broadcast channel can now be streamed anywhere in the world online. Roku and Apple TV for a 100-hour annual donation. Give the gift to hometown sports for the holidays. Sign up at app.wosn.tv or by downloading the Roku or Apple TV app. 46-42 to score. Kalida trims that lead back down to four, and really the way both teams have, not to call either team sloppy, but both teams defensively have been able to force turnovers or at least get the ball loose a little bit. It certainly is something to be cognizant of as Van Wert inbounds to looking to go the length of the floor. And they're inbounding it to Nate Phillips. Gets it in the front court, and he wisely pulls it out. And Luke Wessel fouled. And Phillips might have had an easy look at two points, but knew running a little bit of clock was a, a little better option there for the Cougars. Well, and this is where we're going to find out if fatigue sets in and put the charity stripe. This is where you're going to have to bear down a little bit and bend them legs and extend it, get up on your toes and finish it. Wessel sitting at nine points on the evening. Has 10 now as he gets the front end of the one and one. Not bad, three and double figures, second game of the year. Yeah, and Van Wert, it's going to be a tough, you know, everybody can say, hey, we need to contain Aiden Pratt, but if Luke Wessel can shoot the three, Nate Phillips can shoot the three, um, Carson Smith and Garrett Gunner chipping in as well. Missed the second, but the offensive rebound from Pratt, and now he's fouled. And he'll look to solve it away. Foul committed by first, his second. And really, even seeing Drew first in the ball game after that injury there in the first half is glad to see that as the senior back out on the floor as Aiden Pratt misses the first. I guess the only misses the front end of the one and one. As Smith fires from three, he's fouled, and Jaden Smith will shoot three free throws. Oh boy, with the clock stopped. So a five-point lead could get down to as low as two if Smith is able to hit all three. He's got 12 points on the evening. He's hit a couple of free throws to get him to 12. And 13. And I, you're right, with the clock stopped is as important as, as the points. What's as good as a timeout, you know? That's a big miss right there. And still knock this in though and make it a one possession game. Collided with one timeout remaining. Third and final attempt from Smith. Got that one. Good job by that young man knocking down two out of three. And he'll snap out with four points, four fouls, excuse me. Get an offensive def offense defense here. Want to make sure he's on the floor for the Wildcats offensively. Carson Smith fouled by Miller. And that will put Van Word in a double bonus. Third foul committed by Miller. So just under 11 seconds to play on the Charles River scoreboard. As Carson Smith shoots two. Hit of the rim and drops out, keeping him at 15 points and a couple of big misses here at the free throw line that we foreshadowed just a little bit. If that would tell you what the what the conditioning looked like for both sides, so he gets the second. Good job swishing that second one. Wildcats move quickly. Smith contested, too strong. Rebound, rebound pulled down by Nate Phillips. Sure was. And that'll do it. It wasn't always pretty and it wasn't always easy. But for Van Wert, they outscore Kaleida 10 to 8 in the final quarter to win 48-44 on the Charles River scoreboard. And the way this got off, you look at the start where it was 11-2 at one point, Kaleida might have had every reason to, to pack it up and say, all right, we'll, we'll, we'll 
trot it out next week against LCC on Friday night and try again. Instead, battle back, and it really gave us a fantastic basketball game here tonight. That Kaleida, like you said, a lot of credit goes to both teams. We got some tired kids on the floor. Yeah. Uh, gutsy effort by both ball clubs. This is a great game for Kaleida to prepare them for the for the PCL. And this is a great game for, you know, obviously for Van Wert going into uh, the holiday time. Uh, just just gutsy and you know when they go back and watch this tape a lot of these things they can clean up both ball clubs and yeah i think both of these teams are on their way to a very very successful season both in their league and and i know it's, it, it's silly to say to say this but you know postseason play you know you want to yeah. be playing your best basketball at the end of the season and you know, all these little miscues that both these teams made, they're going to clean them up, and they're going to be right there for their league championships. Absolutely. A couple of very good basketball teams tango in tonight, and Van Wert victorious 48-44. to 44. For Darren Gilbert and our fantastic WOSN crew, I'm Garrett Seawright saying so long from Van Wert, and we'll catch you next time right here on WOSN. <laughs>